Our ability to see into the earliest galaxies is limited by how far the Hubble Space Telescope can reach. This is because the light is so dim and the wavelength of that light has been stretched into the infrared due to the expansion of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope is larger for collecting more light and built for the infrared part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Early quasars provide a good example of what we can expect. Quasars are the brightest objects in the universe. They outshine entire galaxies of billions of stars. A supermassive black hole lies at the heart of every quasar, but not every black hole is a quasar. Only the black holes that are acquiring massive amounts of new material can power a quasar. Although quasars are known to reside at the centers of galaxies, it's been difficult to tell what those galaxies are like and how they compare to galaxies without quasars. The challenge is that the quasar's glare makes it difficult or impossible to tease out the light of the surrounding host galaxy. It's like looking directly into a car headlight and trying to figure out what kind of automobile it is attached to. The James Webb Space Telescope will be able to reveal the host galaxies of distant quasars despite their small sizes and obscuring dust. To determine what Webb is expected to see, a team of astronomers used a state-of-the-art computer simulation called Blue Tides. It's designed to study the formation and evolution of galaxies and quasars in the first billion years of the universe's history. Its large cosmic volume and high spatial resolution enables it to study those rare quasar hosts on a statistical basis. It's providing good agreement with current observations and allows astronomers to predict what Webb will see. This video zooms into a highly detailed simulation of the universe. It starts out spanning about 200 million light years and ends up spanning only 200,000 light years focused on two galaxies. One final note, Webb's ability to see into circumstellar disks where planets form should provide enough material for an entire video book chapter on exoplanets. Hopefully we'll know by this time next year.